plastics are inexpensive and durable and as a result levels of plastic production by humans are high however the chemical structure of most plastics renders them to resistant to many natural processes of degradation and as a result they are slow to degrade together these two factors have led to a high prominence of plastic pollution in the environment millions of animals are killed by plastics every year but there are many ways we can reduce the plastic pollution by converting waste plastic into useful resource. Welcome to GNP Animations. In this video, we are going to see how plastic is turned into fuel. Imagine a world where gigantic amounts of plastic waste can be converted into useful resource again and used for other purposes. Chemical recycling is an attractive way to reduce the explosive growth of plastic waste and disposal problems. We know plastic is just crude oil that has been processed in different way and with pyrolysis we can reverse this process. Do you want to know how plastic is made? Check out our video link is in the description. Plastic pyrolysis is a very effective process where plastic is exposed to high temperatures in an oxygen free environment. Pyro means heat, lysis means breakdown. At any given temperature, the molecule is in vibrating stage. This is called molecular vibration. The frequency at which molecules vibrates is directly proportional to the temperature of molecules. During pyrolysis, the molecules are subjected to very high temperatures leading to very high molecular vibrations. At these high molecular vibrations, every molecule in the object is stretched and shaken to such an extent that molecules start breaking down into smaller molecules. This is pyrolysis. Plastic is hard to break down and we have to add a catalyst to help break the chemical bonds. A catalyst is a substance that speeds up a chemical reaction but is not consumed by the reaction. And mostly fly ash obtained from coal combustion or zeolite etc are used as catalyst. Finally, waste plastic is converted into approximately 80% oil, 15% gas and 5% carbon black or ash. Let's have a look into how plastic is actually converted into a useful resource. There are many steps involved in plastic pyrolysis process, but we are simply going to see 5 steps. Waste plastic to pre-treatment process, shredder, pyrolysis, condensation, refining. Waste plastic is first sent into a pre-treatment process that removes any foreign matter, then sent into a plastic shredder. Plastic shredder is a machine used to cut plastic into smaller pieces. The smaller pieces of plastic then sent into a densifier that compresses the smaller plastic pieces into dense material to facilitate easier storage or handling. Then they are sent into a chamber where the pyrolysis of plastics takes place. The plastic is heated up to 450 degrees centigrade in the presence of catalyst and in the absence of oxygen. The plastic is slowly melts and converted into gas state. Then the gas is sent into a condenser. Then the condensation takes place. Condensation means conversion of a vapor or gas to a liquid. Then that is sent into a oil refinery chamber. And finally, plastic waste is refined into approximately 80% oil, 15% gas and 5% carbon black or ash. And this oil is used as a heating material and sell it to cement, glass, ceramic, electric power factories, etc. And also used in heavy oil generator for electricity generation and it is deprocessed into diesel oil with a distillation plant. The final oil can be used in trucks, tractors, etc. 15% gas which is recycled into furnace to heat the reactor instead of using coal, wood, oil, etc. And the remaining carbon black or ash is used as a slag for construction, also used as replacement to coal. Here are some drawbacks and advantages of plastic pyrolysis. Drawbacks Pyrolysis is an energy consuming process. More energy has to be put in to treat the waste that can actually be recovered. Pyrolysis of plastic can never be sustainable and etc. Advantages of plastic pyrolysis It reduces waste going into landfill and greenhouse gas emission. It reduces the risk of water pollution. It creates new jobs for lower income people based on the qualities of waste generated in the region, which in turn provides public health benefits through waste cleanup, etc. And this is how waste plastic is turned into a usable resource by using pyrolysis. I hope you liked the video. For more videos, consider subscribing to GNP Animations. And I will see you on my next video. Until then, stay tuned to GNP Animations.